All right, let's keep talking about this. I'm ready. So let's say you have COPD. You're walking around, you get COVID, you get an exacerbation of your COPD so bad you go in the hospital, the inflammation in your lungs gets really bad, you need to be intubated, you go to the ICU, you develop acute respiratory distress syndrome, you develop respiratory failure, and you die. In this example, COVID is the cause of death because without the COVID, none of that sequence of events would have happened leading to the patient's death. Now would be a good time to distinguish between mechanism versus cause of death because a lot of people in my comments are getting those two very confused. So the cause of death is the disease or injury that initiates a chain of events, brief or prolonged, which produces a fatal outcome. In this case, that would be the COVID. Mechanism of death is the physiologic derangement incompatible with continued life produced by the cause of death. In this case, that would be the respiratory failure. And by your logic, we should call up the CDC right now and tell them to cancel all cancer deaths because people don't die of cancer. They die of intracerebral hemorrhage from brain metastases or pulmonary emboli from hypercoagulable states of malignancy or sepsis from prolonged immunosuppression. But we don't do that because without the cancer, none of that would have happened and they wouldn't have died. You're picking up what I'm putting down?